How you doing guys? Zane's Heavy Boxing Dose to cheer back with another video and in this video I'd like to give you my prediction for this weekend's fight, another fight that's uh, upon us uh, apart from the Andy Ruiz Jr. and Anthony Joshua fight you know they're fighting in America and this is on the undercard of the Jamal Charlo versus Dennis Hogan fight you know it's Chris Eubank Jr. versus Matt V. Korobov you know, this is a great fight, in my opinion. Um, this by far could be one of the best fights on the card as well. You know, um, Chris Eubank Jr. coming off the biggest win of his career against James DeGell. And he looked very good in doing that, you know. One of his best performances so far since he's changed trainers with the likes of Nate Vasquez. You know, um, the improvement showing definitely in his last fight, cutting off the ring more better, you know, um, obviously got that stamina as he's always had, um, his defense improving a little bit more, you know, but he's still not the overall package, you know, so he's still got a lot more improving to do, you know, but he's learning, he's definitely learning from his losses, his losses against George Groves and Billy Joe Saunders early on in his career. You know, the uh, thing about Chris Eubank Jr. is he has a weakness and his weakness is pure boxers. You know, boxers that know how to use the jab, you know, uh, good defense, you know, good head movement, you know, in and out of range. And them sort of boxers give Chris Eubank, Eubank Jr. problems because he can't hit what you can't see. You know, in boxing, if you're, if you're gonna, you know, beat an opponent, you got to know how to box them and learn to use the jab effectively. And that's what Chris Eubank Jr. is lacking in my opinion. He's lacking the fundamentals, you know, um, the basics in boxing. Um, you're not going to get everyone out of there with one punch, you know, and he's starting to learn that in my opinion. He's using much more combinations, you know, he's cutting off the ring more effectively, you know, and he keeps that stamina on for the whole 12 rounds. You know, the one thing I've got to give Eubank Jr. credit for is his stamina. You know, um, he's definitely got that work rate that will win rounds. You know, his defense got a lot of improving to do, but you know, it's a work in progress. I'm happy with what I've seen from Chris Eubank Jr. so far. You know, he's campaigned, campaigned more at super middleweight. You know, his last couple of fights. You know, um, now he's coming back down to 160 pounds. Coming off a one year layoff from that victory over James DeGale, you know, um, so he's definitely looking like an improved fighter, you know. Um, this fight will tell us a lot though, you know, um, a lot of people are saying that Matt Korobov is past his prime um, at 36 years old now with a record of 28, two losses and one draw, you know, uh, them two losses coming against Andy Lee and uh, Jamal Charlo notably in his last fight he drew against Emmanuel Lee you know but he's got some good wins on his resume you know and the thing that what makes uh, Matt Korobov a lot dangerous is he's got the amateur background the experience of a Chris Eubank Jr you know he's been in there with slightly better competition I must say you know with the likes of Jose Uzkategi He's beating them sort of fighters, Jose Uzkategi, you know. Um, he's beating decent fighters in his amateur background as well, you know, the likes of Alexander Usyk, you know. Um, so definitely has a long career, you know, and he's got a lot of experience, you know. So um, he's generally a great boxer as well. You know, I must say in his last couple of fights that I've watched against Emmanuel Alim and Jamal Charlo, you know, he was winning a lot of rounds, you know, that must be said, you know, uh, definitely effective with his counter-punching ability, you know, um, he's very accurate, you know, I must say, he's got great power shots, can mix it up to the head and the body, he's also in and out of range quite well, you know, um, but the thing about Matt Korobov now, recently, I've seen in his last couple of fights is that he does tend to fade during the second half of the fight, you know, um, he starts off well, generally he starts off well, pumping the jab, you know, um, great head movement, 
as well uh, good footwork uh, very stubborn jab as well you know definitely got the counter punching ability like I mentioned you know and it's not an easy fight for Chris Eubank Jr you know as I mentioned Chris Eubank Jr's weaknesses is pure boxes but you know luckily on his side he's got the age factor behind him you know um, so that's what makes this fight a bit more interesting you know not to say that this is an easy fight for Chris Eubank Jr because it's far from that I believe we can say that and I can say that more convincingly with regards to looking at Matt Korobov's last two fights in my opinion he deserved to win that fight against Emmanuel Lim in his last fight you know he definitely outboxed Emmanuel Lim and definitely landed the more telling shots in my opinion even though it did slow down in the last couple rounds you know um it was safe to say that I thought that he won that fight but you know what well, boxing it's changed a lot since back in the days and it's run by money because that was clearly a Matt Korobov win in his last fight you know did well he's got a lot of power as well behind his punches you know it doesn't sort of knock you out but it stings you you know them sort of punches and we can tell by the last couple of fights even against Jamal Charlo he put up a good fight you know that must be said so even at 36 years old if you ask me Matt Korobov obviously he has declined a bit you know but he's not a completely shot fighter and if Chris Eubank Jr isn't on his A game you know the things can turn ugly real quick um you know he may be able to pull off the upset you know this could happen you know I'm not saying it will um obviously you know you gotta consider everything and everything with regards to making a prediction you know um so with that being said you know I just feel that Chris Eubank Jr is improving as a fighter and um you know I just feel that Matt Korobov, his best days have gone past him, you know, but he's still got it. He's still got a lot in the tank, but I just think the work rate is going to be too much, you know, for from Chris Eubank Jr. Um, I just feel that Korobov is going to win a few rounds in this fight. It's going to be close, but the judges are going to favour more of the uh, aggressive fighter which will end up being Chris Eubank Jr. in terms of being put through to the second half of the fight. You know, Chris Eubank Jr. stamina is going to take over, being the younger, fresher guy, in my opinion. So that's what I think. But, you know, it's going to be a close fight. You know, like I said, Chris Eubank Jr. struggles with pure boxers. And Matt Korobov is a great boxer, you know, that must be said. You know, so it's going to be interesting to see what happens and to see if Chris Eubank Jr. is learning even more under the tutelage of Nate Vasquez. You know, people could say in his last fight, you know, James DeGale was over the hill. You know, but this is another test within itself. And the last two fights of Matt Korobov proved this, you know, that this is not going to be an easy fight. You know, uh, if he's not on his A game, Eubank Jr., and he's thinking he's you know, underestimating Jamal, um, underestimating Matt Korobov, you know, and uh, thinking about the Jamal Charlo fight in the future, then this could be easily an upset. You know, Matt Korobov definitely got the skills to pull it off, and it wouldn't surprise me, you know, because, you know, he's just a technically better boxer, in my opinion. But in terms of work rate, aggressiveness, you know, um, combination punching, you know, um, I got to give Chris Eubank Jr. The, the nod on that department, you know. So my final prediction, guys, um, I'm going to say it's going to be a very close and competitive fight, but I feel the second half of the fight, Chris Eubank Jr., his stamina and conditioning will be the main difference, and he might edge this fight, you know. You never know, he could get uh, Matt Korobov out of there late, you know, if he's lucky, if, 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 that's a big if, if, if Matt Korobov has aged overnight, you know, because father time 
can catch up with fighters, you know, especially when at the age of 36, 37, they're more vulnerable to, you know, turning old overnight, you know. Um, their legs may give up on themselves. You know, that that might be the difference, you know. If Chris Eubank Jr. is able to keep that pressure up, you know, um, Matt Corbo may not be able to handle it. But I'm just going to say, I'm going to say... Chris Eubank Jr. wins this fight, guys, by late stoppage or a unanimous decision. Um, it's a very close fight, you know. Um, could go either way, depending on which fighter turns up on the night. You know, uh, let me know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. You know, there's mu much more fights coming up, you know, this weekend. And I've got to get down to a few more predictions. But in this prediction, guys, I've got Chris Eubank Jr. winning this fight. You know, let me know who you think is going to win this fight, guys. The Zanes every boxing dosage. Until the next video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out.